In this video we will discuss how you can create a main form in Access that holds a subform with the details of whatever is in the main form. In the main form let's say we have suppliers and suppliers supply us with products. So this supplier has these products and we calculate at the bottom the total value in stock. How many units do we have in stock times the units by and sum them all. So when I go to another supplier we get different products. So the subform is hooked up to the main form because one supplier has many products. Let's see how you would make such a subform. I'm deleting what we have so we really start from scratch. I want you to know that the database that I'm using is very simple. The relationships show you you have only two tables. It's important to realize that they all have an ID as a unique identifier, which is an auto number in these cases. So this is the primary key. And in the table products, that supplier ID is the foreign key. One supplier here has many suppliers there. And of course the products have a product ID, so I can identify them later on when people place orders. But I leave that out of this database. Let's start with the main form. We create with the form wizard, that is usually the easiest way, that saves you a lot of designing. Uh, which table do you want to use? Table suppliers. Let's say we want everything from that table in the form. Sometimes you want to leave certain things out. We make it a columnar one. And I'm go going to call this form FRM main suppliers. And finish. It's a very simple form. It has all the fields from that table. And we are going to place here a subform. What are the steps to do so? Usually there are three steps. You have to make a query that hooks those products up to a specific supplier. Then you transform that query into a form. And then you play that, place that form into the main form as a subform. So step one is creating a query. Let's create a query. Create, and we go to query design, based on those two tables. You don't really need in this case the table suppliers, but we just need the products. I take everything from the product, so I'm going to double click on the asterisk. What is important that you have the supplier ID on the what they call the many side, the foreign key supply. So don't take this one. For if you do that, you can never add new products to a supplier. So when we close this query and save it, QRY, we make it for a subform, sub products. So I call it query sub products. Okay it. Now we are going to change that query into a form. Don't forget that step. So we do a form wizard again, but this time based on the, ta on the query sub product. Let's say I want everything in there. Usually you don't need the product ID and the supplier ID. They automatically kick in anyway, but I'm going to leave them in to show you. And let's make it a data sheet that is more compact. There is a problem with a data sheet that I will show you very soon when you create subtotals and totals. Next, what title do you like for your form? I'm just going to make that form subproducts. And this is what the data sheet looks like. All we have to do now is place this into the main form so that we will only see for supplier one these three products and for supplier two those etc and then a total for these records. So how do we get that in a sub form? Open the main form in design view Make your form higher and wider. 
and go to the design step and insert a subform or sub report in this case a sub form click on it click where you want it and draw it okay use an existing form please make sure that you have that form ready otherwise you are asking for a lot of trouble and then it says what is the relationship between the main form and the sub form define your own it's the supplier ID from the main form and the supplier ID from the sub form. Next, give that thing a name. And this is what we got. I'm, I'm taking that header out. I don't need that here. So just to show you what we have at this moment, we have this. It, it, it works already. When I go to another record, another supplier in this case i see different products later on i will test whether they also update so now we want a total here you you want that total somewhere here but the problem is that data sheets cannot show those totals so then i have to make another subtotal box here that refers to this one let's go to the design screen and we are going to put in the sub form a form footer place in the form footer a text box that is going to calculate all the subtotals I go to the properties of that box in the control source I place a a formula I'm blowing up the font so you can see it better equals the sum function of the unit price per record times the units in stock and sum it so it does the total and setting the format to currency unfortunately as i said already you will never see this box so let's give the box a name and refer to it later on in the main form i call it txt total very simple for now don't forget to save all these changes for we have to refer to that box now in the main form so now i click in the main form i'm out of the sub form i place in there another text box And I bind that one to that box in the subform. So I go to its control source. I click on the ellipsis, the three dots. In the form main suppliers, in the subform, there is a box that I would like to talk to. Text total. It puts the address in there. All I have to do is make it currency. And do a lot more formatting. But in this case, I think we did enough already. You will see that this company has in total $952 in stock. 39 times 18, 13 times 10, and 10 times 12. And the next one is a similar story. Now, the last thing we need to test, can I update everything? Let's say we have also a product, Peach Nectar. From that same supplier don't change that that is automatically done let's say that costs twelve dollars and we have ten in stock okay. at the moment i get out of that record it automatically updates in the total box can i find that back later on if I, when i go to the next supplier and i go back to the first supplier that peach nectar is still there this is how you make sub forms it's a very fast course on it. I want you to know that there is much more to access, of course. And you will find all of that on my CD-ROM, your access to the world. Find it at genesispc.com. This is the section that we just discussed, but only we did a very small part of it. This one is much more extensive. It gives you much more tools. And look at what else it discusses. These are all the sections on that CD-ROM.
It even goes into how to make macros, how to make do some basic programming in Access, and it does some great tricks with maintaining your databases, importing and linking, converting databases. It is a great tool to work with Access. GenesisPC.com will show you this tool.